Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. If you like supporting the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we have had five consecutive days of basically sell-off. At the moment, we have basically crossed, we did cross the 20 exponential and then pulled back. And at this point, we're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. So we could continue falling here and most likely target would be the 50 moving average, roughly at 3,800. That is where most buy will come back in. However, we have seen these pullbacks several times in the last few months. And every single time we have basically rallied from them. It is only back here where we basically ran all the way down to the 50 moving average and crossed the 50 moving average and then had this massive rally to the upside. 4,000 is the target here, um, but we could go lower before we go higher. If you look at technical indicators, they are very bearish at this point. Both the MACD, the Stochastic, CCI, and also the RSI all are part and pointing to lower levels. So we could cross and head towards the 50, and that is technically entry point and target would be 4,000. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow, Dow Jones did break down quite heavily today and then rally and then created this hammer here. So at the moment, the target is uh, 32,000. That's roughly around here. So 20 exponential proved to be very supportive. And at this point, it is only a matter of time before we rally up towards uh, 32,000. Technical indicators, they are still, well, they're all over the place. Either they're basically flat or bearish as the CCI is, but more likely they're technically just flat. Just because we have been technically trading sideways for the last few trading days. But pullbacks towards the 20, that is massive support. A break below that opens the door to the 50 at 30,812. And we haven't been there since basically in the bit ending of January, beginning of February, where we have this massive rally. So at this point, it is technically more likely that we'll just uh, pull back towards the 20 and then rally from there until we get towards uh, 32,000. So let's look at a NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ continues to uh, fall. We are trading at the 13,308 at this point. We are continuing. It did have a pullback. Um, earlier in the session, and now at the end of the U.S. session, it continues to fall. Most likely, we'll fall towards the 50 moving average here, uh, 13,133, before rallying up towards 14,000, and in the long term, towards 15,000. We are in a channel here. Um, we are trading at the roughly highs here, and then we have the fairly lows right here. So we are very close to this downward, the lower channel, which we have bounced off just recently. So at the moment we are in the fifth day of a sell off. And I would not be surprised if we continue tomorrow, just touch the 50 moving average or this trend line here, and then bounce towards the upside. Technical indicators are getting, are very bearish at this point. And the RSI is fairly low for the NASDAQ. But um, until we basically break the 50 moving average, I won't expect this to fall uh, significantly lower. I expect a lot of buyers are just waiting for this area here in order to come in and buy. Very similar to what basically happened right here. So let's look at the DAX. So as you can see, the 50 moving average um, offered a massive amount of support here. We fell towards the 50 moving average and then bounced. And now we're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. We're trading at 13,955. Uh, technical indicators, they are fairly bearish at this point. Uh, MACD is flat and the other kind of, um, indicators are bearish at this point. So we should, there is um, quite a lot of resistance here at 14,200, give or take. 
and the 15 moving week average here is support. So at this point, we could rally up towards this level here, but expect this to pull back down. If we break above these previous highs, then we're going towards 14,500 and probably 15,000 in the long run. So let's look at the UK 100. So we did rally significantly here uh, last week uh, from 6,487 all the way up towards uh, 6,797. 6, and now we have completely broken down again. We're trading at the 50 moving week average, just uh, yeah, basically just at the 50 moving week average at 6,610. At this point, um, if we break above the 50 moving week average, then we could go and and test these previous highs again. A break below here could open the door to these previous lows or these previous lows at 6,350, give or take. Technically, they are uh, fairly bearish at this point. So, um, so um, you should expect a lot of choppiness. But if we get a green candlestick that is trading above the 50 moving average, that could be a sign that we are going back towards these previous highs. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.